Adeline, troubled by the nightly disturbances caused by her alcoholic husband Robert, resolved to change her life for the better, living in a home where peace was a rarity. She bore the brunt of Robert's drunken outbursts, which not only strained their marriage, but also cast a shadow over their daughter Lily's well-being. The continuous tumult, coupled with Robert's meager earnings, pushed Adeline to her limits. Seeking a fresh start, she decided it was time to part ways with Robert and secure a nurturing environment for Lily. With the decision made, Adeline swiftly acted upon it, securing a divorce and gaining custody of Lily. Her job provided a modest income, which she prudently saved, planning for a future where tranquility was no longer a distant dream. Determined to lay down new roots, she explored housing options, enlisting the help of a real estate broker. The search led them to a quaint house, modest yet in commendable condition, promising the fresh start Adeline yearned for. However, her curiosity was piqued by an old, seemingly abandoned house across from the potential new home. Its desolate state hinted at untold stories, prompting Adeline to inquire about its history. The broker, unaware of the specifics, mentioned a tragic past involving a family and the sudden loss of their daughter, followed by the parents' demise. This revelation added a layer of mystery to Adeline's new beginning, intertwining her hope for peace with the enigmatic history of her potential new neighborhood. Adeline's journey towards a tranquil life took a tangible step forward as she finalized the purchase of the house that promised serenity and a fresh start. The decision to move her daughter Lily to a hostel, though difficult, was deemed necessary due to Adeline's work commitments, leaving her to navigate this new chapter of her life in solitude. The joy of acquiring a new home was tinged with the bittersweet reality of being apart from her daughter, casting a shadow of loneliness over her newfound peace. The quiet neighborhood, a stark contrast to her previous tumultuous living situation, offered Adeline the solitude she longed for. Yet, it was this very silence that amplified the smallest of sounds, making the nights eerily perceptible. The old house across from hers, with its mysterious past and vacant state, began to intrigue Adeline particularly when unexplained occurrences started to punctuate the stillness of her surroundings. One morning, a seemingly mundane moment turned intriguing when Adeline thought she saw movement in the old house, a sight that piqued her curiosity, yet seemed easily dismissible as a trick of the light or a passing bird. However, the tranquility of her environment made even the faintest noises stand out, adding layers of mystery to the nights. Sounds that seemed to emanate from the vicinity of the old house began to disturb the quiet, leaving Adeline to wonder about the source. The night when the sound of shattering glass shattered the silence marked a turning point. The shock of the noise propelled Adeline to seek its origin, only to find nothing amiss in the immediate surroundings. This incident led her to speculate about the old house, questioning how and why a window there would break, given the house's long-standing abandonment. This sequence of events not only heightened Adeline's sense of isolation, but also deepened her connection to the mysterious old house intertwining her quest for peace with the unraveling of the enigma that lay just across her new home. Adeline's encounter with the unexplained shattered windowpane deepened the mystery surrounding the old house, 
intensifying her sense of unease. The isolation of her new home, compounded by the absence of nearby neighbors for support or inquiries, left her to confront these anomalies alone, driven by a mix of curiosity and apprehension. She ventured closer to the old house, seeking answers to the nocturnal disturbance that had disrupted her solitude. Upon discovering the broken window at the rear of the house, Adeline's bewilderment escalated. The lack of visible activity or presence in the vicinity made the broken glass all the more perplexing. Her thoughts raced with questions about the cause of the breakage, especially considering the eerie quiet of the night before. Peering through the breach in the window, Adeline's gaze was met with nothing but the somber darkness of an unlit room. Its stillness punctuated only by a mysteriously cold breeze that seemed out of place in the still air of the night. This chilling encounter only served to heighten the sense of mystery enveloping the old house. Faced with an unsettling situation and no immediate answers, Adeline retreated to the safety of her new home, her mind swirling with questions and the day's eerie discoveries. The solitude she once sought now seemed to echo with the whispers of the old house's secrets. That night, after a quiet meal, she sought refuge in sleep, hoping the new day might bring clarity to the enigmatic occurrences that had begun to weave themselves into the fabric of her new beginning. As dawn broke, Adeline's thoughts remained clouded with the enigmas of the previous day, the broken window, the inexplicable cold breeze, and the unshakable feeling of being watched had all conspired to unsettle her. Despite this, she was determined to maintain her routine, hoping that a semblance of normalcy might dispel the growing unease that had taken residence in her heart. On her way to work, Adeline's mind replayed the events, each detail etching itself deeper into her consciousness. The solitude of her new life, once a coveted treasure, now seemed to amplify the smallest of anomalies turning whispers into roars and shadows into specters. Yet, amidst this turmoil, a resolve began to form within her. Adeline decided that she could not let fear dictate her life. She needed to find out more about the old house, to uncover its secrets and confront whatever lay within. After a day spent in the distractions of work, Adeline returned home with a renewed sense of purpose. She knew that if she was to find any peace, she needed to face the mystery head on. That evening, she prepared herself, gathering a flashlight and a sturdy piece of wood for protection, before setting out towards the old house once more. The air was heavy with the anticipation of discovery as Adeline approached the house. The broken window, now a familiar sight, seemed to beckon her closer. With every step, her heart raced, but her resolve steadied her. She reached the window and, with a deep breath, peered inside once again. This time, her eyes adjusted to the darkness, and she could make out more of the room. Dust-covered furniture, long-forgotten photographs, and layers of time painted a picture of a life once lived within these walls. And then, something caught her eye, a faint outline of footsteps in the dust, leading towards the closed door she had noticed before. Adeline's pulse quickened. The evidence of recent activity within the supposedly abandoned house both alarmed and intrigued her. Was someone else exploring the house? Or was there a more unearthly explanation? The mystery deepened, 
pulling Adeline further into its grasp. With a mix of fear and fascination, she circled the house, looking for a safe way in. Her quest for answers had led her here, to the threshold of the unknown, and she knew there was no turning back. The night was still, the only sound her own breathing and the soft crunch of her footsteps on the ground. Adeline was about to step into a story that had long awaited its next chapter. Armed with nothing but her courage and an insatiable need to know the truth, finding an entry point that seemed less foreboding than the broken window, Adeline discovered a slightly ajar door at the back of the house, her heart pounding in her chest. She pushed it open with the tip of her makeshift weapon, the wood creaking under her tentative touch. The door groaned on its hinges, a sound that seemed to echo through the silent corridors of the house, as if announcing her intrusion to its unseen occupants. The interior of the house was shrouded in shadows, the fading light from the outside barely penetrating the gloom. Adeline flicked on her flashlight, its beam cutting through the darkness, revealing layers of dust and decay. The house, it seemed, was a tomb of memories, each room a chapter in a story long forgotten. As she moved cautiously through the house, Adeline's senses were heightened. Every sound amplified in the silence. The house seemed to breathe with a life of its own, walls whispering secrets of the past, each step forward, a question waiting to be answered. She found herself in what appeared to be a living room, the furniture draped in white sheets, frozen in time. Her flashlight beam landed on a staircase leading to the second floor, remembering the silhouette she thought she'd seen from her own home. Adeline's curiosity overcame her apprehension. She ascended the stairs, each step deliberate, bracing herself for what she might find. At the top of the stairs, a long hallway stretched out before her, doors lining either side. The air was thick with dust, and the silence was almost tangible. Adeline's heart raced as she approached the door at the far end of the hallway, the source of her midnight visions. She reached for the doorknob, her hand trembling. The door creaked open to reveal a room that seemed untouched by time, a child's room filled with toys and books, the walls adorned with cheerful wallpaper. In the dim light of her flashlight, Adeline could see that one of the toys, a small ball, had recently moved, its path through the dust clear on the floor. The realization that she was not alone, that someone or something was sharing this space with her, sent a shiver down her spine. Adeline felt a presence in the room, a weight in the air that made it hard to breathe. The line between the past and the present blurred, and for a moment, she felt as though she had stepped into another world. Her mind raced with possibilities. Had the spirits of the house's former occupants remained, tethered to this world by unfinished business? Or was there a more earthly explanation for the occurrences in the house? Adeline knew she could not leave without finding out. With a deep breath, she called out, her voice barely above a whisper. Is anyone here? The silence that followed was deafening, the house holding its breath. Adeline waited, her heart pounding in her ears for a response that might never come. Finding an entry point that seemed less foreboding than the broken window, Adeline discovered a slightly ajar door at the back of the house, her heart pounding in her chest. She pushed it open with the tip of her makeshift weapon, the wood creaking under her tentative touch. The door groaned on its hinges, a sound that seemed to 
echo through the silent corridors of the house, as if announcing her intrusion to its unseen occupants. The interior of the house was shrouded in shadows, the fading light from the outside barely penetrating the gloom. Adeline flicked on her flashlight, its beam cutting through the darkness, revealing layers of dust and decay. The house, it seemed, was a tomb of memories, each room a chapter in a story long forgotten. As she moved cautiously through the house, Adeline's senses were heightened, every sound amplified in the silence. The house seemed to breathe with a life of its own, walls whispering secrets of the past, each step forward a question waiting to be answered. She found herself in what appeared to be a living room, the furniture draped in white sheets, frozen in time. Her flashlight beam landed on a staircase leading to the second floor, remembering the silhouette she thought she'd seen from her own home. Adeline's curiosity overcame her apprehension. She ascended the stairs, each step deliberate, bracing herself for what she might find. At the top of the stairs, a long hallway stretched out before her, doors lining either side. The air was thick with dust, and the silence was almost tangible. Adeline's heart raced as she approached the door at the far end of the hallway, the source of her midnight visions. She reached for the doorknob, her hand trembling. The door creaked open to reveal a room that seemed untouched by time, a child's room filled with toys and books, the walls adorned with cheerful wallpaper. In the dim light of her flashlight, Adeline could see that one of the toys, a small ball, had recently moved, its path through the dust clear on the floor. The realization that she was not alone, that someone or something was sharing this space with her, sent a shiver down her spine. Adeline felt a presence in the room, a weight in the air that made it hard to breathe. The line between the past and the present blurred, and for a moment, she felt as though she had stepped into another world. Her mind raced with possibilities. Had the spirits of the house's former occupants remained, tethered to this world by unfinished business? Or was there a more earthly explanation for the occurrences in the house? Adeline knew she could not leave without finding out. With a deep breath, she called out, her voice barely above a whisper. Is anyone here? The silence that followed was deafening, the house holding its breath. Adeline waited, her heart pounding in her ears for a response that might never come. As Adeline stepped out of the ancient, whispering confines of the old house and back into the moonlit embrace of her own home, profound tranquility settled over her. The eerie, unsettling encounters of the night had given way to a profound revelation, connecting her to the history and heart of her new environment in an unexpectedly personal way. In the quiet of her own home, Adeline reflected on the night's experiences. The initial fear and confusion transformed into an understanding and empathy for the spirits of the past that lingered in the old house. She realized that these echoes from bygone days were not just remnants of sadness and loss, but also carriers of the house's history and memories, integral to the fabric of the place she now called home. Adeline's decision to confront the unknown had led her to a deeper connection with her new surroundings, bridging the gap between past and present. The encounter reminded her that every place has a story, every shadow a tale waiting to be understood and acknowledged. It reinforced her belief that peace
peace and acceptance can be found in the most unexpected places. Sometimes just a whisper away as she prepared for bed, the sense of isolation that had once enveloped her began to dissipate, replaced by a feeling of being part of a larger, more intricate tapestry of lives and stories. The house, with all its quirks and mysteries, felt less like a mere structure of wood and stone, and more like a living, breathing entity, with Adeline now an integral part of its ongoing narrative. In the silence of the night, with the gentle wind whispering through the trees, and the soft glow of the moon casting shadows around her new home, Adeline felt a profound sense of belonging and purpose. She had sought a fresh start, a break from the turmoil of her past. And in this place, with its layers of history and emotion, she found not just a new beginning, but a connection to something timeless and enduring. As sleep finally claimed her, Adeline knew that her journey was just beginning. The days ahead would be filled with challenges and discoveries, but she faced them with a renewed spirit, fortified by the knowledge that she was not alone. The house, with its whispers of the past and promises of the future, was her ally, and together they would write the next chapter of their shared story, a testament to the enduring power of hope, healing, and home.